Hello, this is Jijo and welcome to this lesson. And in this lesson, we're going to learn something about quantitative technique. For that, what I'm going to do is I'm going to pick up a CLAT 2020 question and use that to solve. This is the first set, ladies and gentlemen. Let's uh, pick the first set here. This is question 136 to 140. So when, the, so when you look at the set here, this is a data interpretation set. A chart is given. So when you look at this chart, there is nothing to be worried about, right? So this is merely giving a particular number. So this chart looks scary. The information provided by this chart is just this one number. So you actually look at this. Why did they actually give it in bar graph? It could be a table. Why bar? So just to scare us, all that information gives is one particular figure for one particular entity. Odisha 57, West Bengal 45, Chhattisgarh 21, Jharkhand 29, and Andhra Pradesh 13. And then we have got some additional information here. So the first step is, of course, to understand what the data is given to us. The data present the case of Japanese encephalitis, encephalitis in five states of India. So there are five states of India given. And number of persons affected by uh, this is in thousands. So all these are in thousands, which means Andhra Pradesh is 13,000. And then we have ratios of male to female. So when I look at this, already I like this. The reason why I like this is because if I total these together, uh, the total of that would be 13. So we reckon I already see a 13, which means number of male to number of female is 7 is to 6. The number of, since the total itself is 13, which means number of male is 7 and number of female is 6. Even let's say, for example, this particular case, if I total this, this comes to 7. Now I can see a 21 here. 7, 3 is a 21. So this figure is pretty good. This is nice. And one thing that um, I would encourage you to do is quickly look at the question uh, to see that how. To what extent should I calculate this? Would it make sense to calculate everything one, create a table and then solve? Or maybe it's individual question. So just quickly give it a go. Number of uh, females affected by Japanese emphasis in West Bengal is what percentage? So we need to have data of females. Average number of males affected. So we need to have total. And then you can find the uh, data. The total number of males affected by Japanese is 87% of the states. So male, female, averages of male. So yeah, female affected. So basically, you need to get that table in place. So, so let's create the table here. So that might be a good idea. So let's give it a go. So we have got Odisha, we have got West Bengal, we have got Chhattisgarh, we have got Jharkhand, we have got Andhra Pradesh. And let's create this table, ladies and gentlemen, West Bengal, Chhattisgarh. Oops, that's a siren. COVID times, ladies and gentlemen, it's a tough time. This is a story now, things are is bad. I hopefully everything will come back to normal soon. And we can live a life, ladies and gentlemen. Okay, so there you have, I've got male, I've got female. Let this be the total. Okay, perfect. And this lets you the grand total of the five, male, female, and the total. Would might be useful. Okay, let's start from here. I think that this is easy to look at. The total is 13, and the ratio is 7 is to 6. But this total is also 13, which is good. So this is 7, and that is 6. Let's add these two together. That is 29. I, I, I can already see it, 29. I love this, ladies and gentlemen, 29 here. Therefore, that will be 15 and that will be 14. I've got this to be 7. The total is 21. 7 threes are 21. So you have to multiply everything by a factor of 3. 5 threes are 15. And 2 threes are 6. That gets you our figure of 21, which is good. 6 plus 3 is 9, but we have a 45. 9 fives are 45. So 6 fives are 30. And 5 threes are 15. That gets our 45. And this adds to 19. We hate this number 19. Don't even hate. We do know the multiplication table of 19, but that's okay. 57, 19 threes are 57. So you're multiplying by 3. So which means 12 threes are 36, 7 threes are 21. That total is 57. Ladies and gentlemen, we have got this one. So now at this point in time, you figuring out, should I add the total? Might as well do it. This is a simple calculation. I think we can add this. All of us know how to add numbers. So 36 plus 30 is 66. I can see one more 30. 15 plus 15 is 30. 66 plus 30 is 96. Plus 7 is 103, which is the total there. Let's look at how much is this. 21 plus 15 is 36. That makes it 42, 52, 60. Okay, so 62, sorry. And therefore, the total is 165. And we have got the information there. All right, so let's look at question number 126. 
Uh, we have to be very careful when we read this. There's no need to hurry things. Okay, you have got enough time. Five minutes, ladies and gentlemen, for a set. Five minutes is a lot of time. Number of females affected by Japanese encephalitis in West Bengal are what percentage more or less than the female affected in Odisha? So, West, Odisha uh, to West Bengal. We have to look at that change, right? It's important to get these things right. Otherwise, these are the silly mistakes that, that you make. So, just be careful about these things. Uh, more what percentage so base is Odisha? Okay, let's look at what the female in Odisha. Female in Odisha, ladies and gentlemen, is 21. West Bengal is 15. Obviously, it's going to be less. I can see some more, which means uh, let's check that. And at this point in time, you might be wondering this 28.6 and 26.8 are too close. Nothing is close. I'll tell you what we have to do. So let's say how much, how, 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 what, this is what, six more or six less? Six less. Yeah. So all we have to do is six divided by 21. That's what we need to figure out because we have to look at the basis. This we can divide this by three. So it'll be two divided by seven. I'm I know for a fact by now you know one by seven, one by seven is fourteen point fifty five, and two by seven will be twenty-eight point six. Done. What is the average number of males affected by Japanese encephalitis? All the five states. We are looking at 103 divided by five will be very close to 20. 100 divided by five is 20. So this will be 20. Done. Let's look at the next one. Let's look at 138. It says the total number of males. So, so basically one thing that you should do, by the way, is that you should read it slowly and write as, to, as you read. Okay, capture the information as you read. It makes your life slightly easier. Okay, the total number of males affected by the Japanese encephalitis in other states. Okay, so we have got some information that we need about other states. We don't know what these are. Other states is eighty-seven percentage more than the average number of males in Odisha, West Bengal, Chhattisgarh, and Jharkhand. So it is eighty-seven percentage more. Eighty-seven percentage more than the average of four states. You have five states. Okay, so we are looking at average of four states. We are looking at this four state, which is uh, Odisha, West Bengal, Chhattisgarh, and Jharkhand. Okay, so we have to add this up. Either you can do 103 minus 7, which will be 96. Or you can add this as well. 66, 96. Okay, the total is here 96. The average would be 96 divided by 4, which I think will be 24. So this other state would be 87 percentage more than that particular figure. Now it says, uh, the, what does the question want? The total number of males affected in India. We want the total number of males affected in India. So this other state plus whatever is this 96, no? This will be our answer to the question, correct? This will be our answer. This is the figure of other states plus this four state and that will be the answer. First of all, you look at these answer choices A and D. You're like, what is this? It's already the, 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 the total is more than 103 for sure. How can you give me something like this 44 and 68? It goes for a toss. Now you're thinking that this 140 and 147 is too close. Nothing is close. You're thinking, how do I start working? Should I actually find out exactly multiply it by one? I, one way to do that 24 into 1.87, multiply that plus do this 96, you can actually do that. There's no problem. You can do 1.87 and multiply that. What I'm actually going to do is I'm going to work with cube numbers and make some rough estimation and see if I can get the answer. What is a cute number close to 87? The cute fellow is 90 percentage. I'm going to work with 90 percentage increase. Now, 90 percentage is a good thing to work with. The way in which I'm going to look at 90 percentage is 100 minus 10 is 90. So 100 percentage will be 24, 10 percentage will be 2.4. So 90 percentage will roughly 24 minus 2.4. We can roughly take it as 22. Let's let's roughly take it as 22. So plus 22 makes it uh, something that is close to uh, 46. So our total will be uh, 12, and this will be 142. Now what I know is the original figure was 87. I slightly overestimated. I went into 90 and got 142. Now to make the correction, I had to get it down. So to, it has been less than 142. The answer to that question is 140 and not 147. Yeah. Question number 139. By what percent is the average of males in Chhattisgarh, Jharkhand and Andhra Pradesh 
together more or less than the average females in West Bengal, Jharkhand, Odisha together. What do you mean average together? What do you mean average together? Average of three is average of three. What is okay, anyways? Who are affected by Japanese? Okay, so we have to get this right. Okay, so we are looking at more or less than the female. So average whatever female figure will be a base, and average male figure is what you are looking at the increase. Okay, we need females. Females from West Bengal. West Bengal, where are you? Female fifteen. Your fifteen plus Jharkhand. Where are you? Jharkhand fourteen plus. Odisha would be 21, and that's the figure that we have to find out to the average of male in those three states, which is Chhattisgarh. Where are the Chhattisgarh male 15 plus uh, Jharkhand? You also 15 plus Andhra Pradesh 7. That's a total. By the way, since this value is 3 and there are three numbers, when you calculate average, you are dividing it by 3. But you have, you look at the final value, would be the whatever is a male minus the value of female divided by the value of female, right? In each of the average, you've got three in the numerator, three in the divided, three in the numerator and three in the denominator, which actually gets cancelled. So actually, you can just find the total and find the increase here. You really don't have to divide it by three. Really. Don't have to. It will get cancelled. Okay, let's add these two together. 15, uh, 15, 15, 15, what is it? Five. 10, then you have 2, 3, 4, 5, 50. 50 is a good number. 50 is the denominator. That's a good number, ladies and gentlemen. That's a good number. Okay. And then we look at this one. So, therefore, there is no need to divide it by 3 and complicate your life. 50 itself is a cute number. So, let's look at this. will be 37. So, obviously, it's going to be less. How, how, how much less? You're looking at something that is uh, 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 something that is how much? Uh, th 13? So 13 out of 50 is what you're looking at. 13 out of 50 will be 26 out of 100. You've got answer choice C. Yay. Okay. So we have got next question, which is 140. And the last question, what is the percentage up to one decimal of females affected by Japanese encephalitis of the total affected population across the five state? So basically 62 divided by 165. Now 62 divided by 165 is a calculation that you do. You know if you calculate this, you will get the answer. So you have to do cal This is what I'm going to do. You look at these answer choices here and these answer choices here. You think that these two are close, these two are close. Nothing is close. The first thing that you would want to do is that what is the cute number close to this fellow? The cute number close to this fellow is 25. Let's check with the 25 percentage works. What is 25 percentage? One fourth. What is one fourth of the denominator? Just divide 165 by four. Roughly, it's going to be something close to 40, right? 40 something, 42 point something. Four into four is 16. So this is 62. Obviously, your answer cannot be this. Now we're trying to figure out one is 36.7. Other is 37.6. So we have to look at some cute number close to this that I'm going to find out. <laughs> what is a cute number I'm going to do? Basically, I can, you can e easily divide also. Or I'm going to think that, say, let me look at what is 40 percentage. And, and look at how far less are these guys. This is what I'm going to do. I can look at 35 percentage also. So find out a cute number value and see how far away are these uh, answers. Basically, this is what I'm going to do. Let's look at 40 percentage. I think 40 percentage you calculate. 10 percent is how much? 16.5. 20 percentage will be double of that. Double of 16 is 32. 0.5 double is 1. So that will be 33. That is 20 percentage. What is 40 percentage? Double of that. The 40 percentage is 66. Now, 40 percentage is 66, but we actually need 62, which is 4 less. Now, let me calculate how much is 4 divided by 165. Let's not worry about 165. Let's call it 160 only. It'll be like 1 by 40, which means 2.5 percentage less roughly. So from 40 percentage, if you reduce 2.5, that will be how much? 37.5. Yeah. So answer would be close to that 37.6. So ladies and gentlemen, when you look at data interpretation, what is that you want to do is one, ensure that you understand the data well, look at the question and see how you want to treat the data. Just quickly glance at the question 
and do the calculation and ensure that you read every question carefully so that you don't make any silly mistake and then you can do some approximation that is what you have to do with data interpretation question thank you i hope this was beneficial bye bye